Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So it is actually Tuesday when I'm filming this. I've had kind of a rough morning, I'm just in a bad mood. Um, so I got to work and then I realized I have CET training today, like another really long training program and it's like right through lunch. So I kind of like took my lunch break now, but it's not the full lunch break. I just like needed to run to the store to grab what I'm gonna eat during lunch and then I needed to grab some things, like I'm out of oatmeal, I'm out of gluten-free pasta, well, good kinds. We love Walmart grocery pickup, but the gluten-free noodles that Walmart offers are terrible. And like Lidl has this entire humongous section. So I'll try and take you guys in with me. It looks ridiculously busy to be 9.40 in the morning, but I guess we will see what, uh, what we can get. So make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And I guess let's go ahead and go inside. Happy Wednesday, actually, when I'm filming this. Um, so it is very early in the morning right now. I'm actually surprisingly like very wide awake. I've already had one cup of coffee. Uh, so I'm working from home for the rest of the week, and I'm doing that because I have so much to do, and I just work a lot faster when I'm home. Also, I have like less distractions when I'm home. So uh, I'm about to get ready because I'm still trying to like get up, get dressed, get ready when I work from home because that also makes me more efficient. And it's been a while since I've shared my updated makeup routine or anything like that with you guys. Um, I recently shared on my Instagram stories, I believe, that I would be moving my main channel into more of just a fashion related channel. Like I'll still do some makeup videos, some hair videos, you know, things like that. I'm not just gonna like completely get rid of those, but like 95% of what I do now is going to be fashion related because that's just what I enjoy filming the most. That's what you guys react to the best. Um, and then in turn, all of that stuff that I usually put on my YouTube channel will now be on my blog. So the blog is getting amped up too. Whole point for saying this is I wanted to share my makeup routine on here. Um, just because I do still get like a fair amount of questions about it. So this is what I do every day. I, it usually takes me about like 10 to 15 minutes, which would put me like right on track to start work on time. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll put everything in the um, description bar below that I used. Why is that dog barking at? It is too early. So I definitely used the darker color 
<laughs> Didn't realize my tan had worn off. We're trying to make it even. So I'm done, very simple. Um, I'm gonna wait until I finish all of my coffee to do my lips, but I really need to exfoliate these bad boys tonight. So this is the last thing I'm putting on is the Cover XF Mattifying Setting Spray. I do this because my skin has just decided to be oily again lately. It had gotten really, really good, but in the drier, like, winter months, it, it gets so oily. So, every day, even on the casual days, I have to set it, which is lovely. Okay. So, we are ready now to start work right on time. I guess I will catch you. Okay, hey guys. So it has been a few hours. I was about to grab lunch and then I got the notification that my packages had been delivered. But I got two packages today. So one of them is a pair of shorts from Target. I ordered them in two sizes because they were only 15 bucks a piece, which is incredible. Um, they're kind of like mom jean shorts. But Online, the reviews were really mixed about the sizing. Um, so I wasn't sure. Some reviews said the shorts fit true to size. Some said they're way too small. Some said they fit perfect. Some said they were too big. I wish, whatever. So what size are these? These are the 10s. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's probably too big. All right, so I'm gonna try these on and we'll see. Okay, don't even have to try on the 10s because I can tell you the eights are perfect. So let's see what they look like. So I got, they're supposed to be like mom jean shorts. Um, and the reason I got them was because a lot of people said they're looser right here, like a lot of the reviews. And this is super itchy, but that's what I wanted. I wanted something um, that was gonna be a little bit looser and also a little bit longer, especially in the front. This is a little bit baggy, but I really like it. So I actually think I'm gonna try on the 10 just to be sure. I don't know, I might keep both, but they are cute. I get the perfect pair of like, just loose denim shorts for summer. Okay, this is weird. The eights fit and so do the tens super weird. I mean, they fit exactly the same. I don't know. I guess I'll keep them both. But I mean, they're again, they're supposed to be loose. So they're just like loose right here. This is the one area that I struggle to find like good shorts with because I hate my legs are really long. So I always hear like your shorts look too short, but I can't help that. And also they always squeeze me right here. And so I'm always standing up and going like this, which is super ladylike. Um, so I like that these are kind of baggy. I don't know, maybe that's not your vibe, but it's definitely mine. Awesome. All right, well, I'll keep them both then, I guess. And if I just have a thicker day, a day I'm more bloated, I guess I'll wear the 10s. And if not, I'll wear the eights. Oh, also I'll link this sweatshirt for you guys. I don't know if I've addressed it yet. Um, I found it at H&M. They don't have this exact one online yet, or maybe it like sold out, but it's so cute. It is so soft. I'll link a similar one, but this is what I thought was so cute. So what does it say? Let me see if I can read it. Dress like Rachel, love like Ross, cook like Monica, laugh like Chandler, flirt like Phoebe, I think. Live like Phoebe. 
so if you are a friends fanatic like i am then this is the sweatshirt for you babe all right so it has been a few hours um <laughs> I literally, out of nowhere, so I was planning on doing our taxes this weekend. I just kind of wanted to make sure I had enough time. And so I just out of nowhere was like, you know what, let's just, let's just do the taxes today. I don't know what came over me. And then I did them and I was like, oh my God, that was so fast. And then I looked up and it had been two and a half hours. <laughs> okay, maybe not as easy as I thought, but they're submitted. Um, I just actually got my first text message that the IRS had accepted my return, so that's really awesome. <sighs> Pays to be young and not and not to have any kids and to have a fairly simple situation with taxes. Um, you know, making money from stuff like this because it's not like a full-time income. It's still is a little simple in a few years we're gonna have to get an accountant to do it but yeah so two and a half hours later our taxes are submitted so it has been a very successful day i got like 98 percent of the work that i needed to get done done got my taxes finished which feels awesome and sam should be home sometime soon he told me he's probably gonna have to work like super late today so I guess what my plan is, is I will make dinner, um, something that he can eat, like reheat and then eat um, because I'm starting to get hungry. It's a little bit late. So I guess we'll just see how that kind of goes. But I'm in a really good mood because out of nowhere, I just was like, okay, let's file our taxes. And it's like that little thing that's been sitting back here in the back of my brain. Like, do your taxes, do your taxes. And now it's over with. But... I did forget, I wanted to show you guys. So these are just receipts, so I don't care if you see them, but this is like what it's like to not work for yourself, but like kind of. Um, you have to keep every receipt, and thank God this year I got it together. So I wasn't keeping the best track of all of my stuff until like July of 2019, and so when I decided to like take keep better records, I spent like two days just going through everything and keeping it all together. And now I have this lovely thing where it is done by each month. It's done by each month. So like as the months go, I will put like all of the receipts and stuff for that month in here so that I won't have to do it like all at once. So just a little pro tip. If you're someone who, even if you do like a side gig, even I think, What's the state for South Carolina? I think if you make like over $4,000 or 400, I'm not sure. Uh, it might be $400, but if you make over a certain amount of money, you have to claim it on your tax form. So keeping all of your little receipts will help you because then you can claim that as a deduction depending on what it is. So there's my two cents for the day. Take it. I almost stuck my hand in that bus kitty. So we were. Uh, Buskitty is. Buskitty. You never heard that joke? No, mama didn't raise you, rat. Just kidding. My mom used to say Buskitty is a joke. This is what he's making. He's all cute. We were supposed to go over to some friends tonight, um, but they just texted us that they're sick. So I'll share the book with you guys, and I will link it in the description bar below. So we're obviously a little late. We're doing a 365-day devotional with them. But it's February 20th, so we're just going to start it anyway, and we'll just start from January 1st. So, Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. And, um, but it's from Amazon, and it looked really good, so we are starting tonight. Cutie, how much longer till dinner's ready? Uh, seven-ish minutes, eight minutes. Okay. Aww. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Someone on the internet. So I posted a picture on my Instagram. Okay, let's see. I did an H&M try on haul tonight and someone said the dress in the middle makes me look like a sister wife. How rude is that? So rude. Sam agrees. Don't you? No, I would never. 
Yeah, you do. No, Liar. Never say such things. I just like, and I don't think that's, here's the thing. I don't think it was meant offensively because this person always comments like really sweet stuff on my pictures. But I guess they just felt the need to tell me I look like a sister wife in a dress that I really liked and felt confident in. So there's that. Anyway, wanted to just sign off here. I'm not even sure what vlog content we have, honestly. Every, I feel like every week is crazy in 2020. Yeah, because Sam hadn't been in what? I don't know. A whopping 15 seconds? <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess we will see you in the next vlog. Call me a sister wife. I can't.